show us the dress black and blue or white and gold? Mm -hmm. This question drove millions of people crazy and was to almost no benefit. <laughs> I say almost because the Salvation Army provided a domestic abuse advertisement involving the dress. In the ad, there's a woman lying on the ground wearing a clearly noted white and gold dress. They did this so if you could grab, they could grab your attention to the black and blue bruises along her legs and her arms. To the right of the ad, to the right of the woman, there's a question asking, why is it so hard to see black and blue? This now left people in awe. My charity, the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, helps create safer homes for not only children, but adults also with their spouse. As we heard earlier in our speeches, child abuse is rising by day by day. As a disclaimer, I would like to note that women are not the only victims of domestic abuse. They are just as capable as men in being the abuser. To begin, I would like to elaborate on what domestic abuse is and how it happens. Today there's a cluster of controversy on whether or not spanking is okay. Some people say yes, it teaches kids discipline. Others, such as myself, beg to differ. Spanking doesn't do anything but scare your child and we don't need that today. Domestic abuse, however, takes spanking to an extreme. Some parents smack their kids, some, some punch their kids, and some even have the nerve to reach for the nearest rough material and leave an imprint on their child's back. This is the same with spouse abuse, except they're more careful as to where they leave the marks. They don't want it, them to go out in public and have people notice the bruises on their arms, bruises on their face, or anywhere else that's noticeable. Worst case scenario, the abuse gets out of hand and the abuser takes the victim's life. According to AmericanBAR.org, 1,427 1, women along with 440 men were murdered as a result of domestic abuse by their spouse. There are multiple reasons as to why people do these crimes. One is they just don't have a healthy relationship with their spouse. They either lose attraction to one another or they just can't agree on simple day-to-day -day tasks. Another is mental illness. Paranoia, depression, anxiety, or even bipolar disorder can result in these actions or can be the cause of these uh, actions. The final excuse, if you will, for the abuser, they, they were once abused themselves. This goes back to whether spanking is okay. If you abuse your child now, what's to say they won't do it to their kid in the future or even their spouse? None of these motives are tolerable. Now that we're familiar with the problem, we can discuss my charity, the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, and what it can do. It creates awareness to everyone and creates programs to help people better understand what exactly is domestic abuse, what can be identified as violent. They construct programs for this. They even provide temporary homes for people that finally can admit that they, they do need help. Because once they do admit to that, where can they go? If they go home, they're either stuck with their abuser and then risk their life being taken away. They even provide pro cosmetic surgery. You're thinking, cosmetic surgery, why is that? As I stated, we don't know how far the abuse can go. They could punch them in the face, as an example, and leave a mark here. Nobody wants to live with that. The, my charity, the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, provides money for them, uh, assisting them in payments for the surgery. Your donation has a very clear and distinct purpose. You can watch the shelters be built. You can see the before and after photos of the victims. And you can even participate in the programs to create more awareness. According to GuideStar.com, this charity offers financial information and is also registered with the IRS. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence also received a five-star rating from CharityCheck.com. If you would like to donate, it's very simple. Just go to NCADV.org and click the Donate tab. Lastly, sympathizing with someone with a in a situation that you haven't had firsthand experience with isn't easy, but it's well worth it if you do. Sean Partridge, a Native American, was 13 years old when, her, when she received the news that her stepsister was murdered as a result of domestic abuse. Her family was in disbelief. How did this happen? How did they not see the signs? It, they felt as if it was their fault. It wasn't. So Partridge took initiative and made it clear that she will fight against domestic abuse abusers. As I stated, Partridge is a Native American woman. Thus, her career today, she is the program director of Family and Violence Program of the Muskegee Creek Nation. 
This instance, with, this instance with her stepsister has led her to be where she is at today. If that isn't a huge emotional impact, I'm not sure what would be. In conclusion, taking time to understand someone else's potential day-to-day -day struggles can be difficult. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence is a well-known secure charity that will make great use of your donation. We imagine a day in life of an of a abuse victim. We discuss that there is hope if you are the victim themselves. And we also and we also heard a worst case scenario of what could happen if you are the victim. Death occurring. Now that we know the causes and signs of domestic abuse, I close with hopes that we can all finally see the true colors. Thank you. <laughs>